we are on Cursed Hollow. And on the left side, we have once again, now in the semi-finals, our blue team for Great Honor. And they have Farva QT on Felstad, Nepsis playing Uther, Merchant Law is going for Stitches, and in the top lane, we have Chen played by Antihero, and bot lane taken by Individuum, who's playing Malfurion. And on the right hand side, we have three agents. And their players Five, are Rolik four, on the Illidan three, in the top lane. Two, we have Kissin uh Kissaloki. God damn it. <laughs> we have Tyriel. <laughs> we have Shadowmare on the Rhaegar. We have Tazdingo on the Arthas. And in the bot lane, we have Valor, who is played by Knockdown, and there's once again a fight in the death rush. And is Stitch is gonna die again? Oh Thanks yeah, he is. <laughs> Good job body blocking here out of Illidan. Um and it's once again the Stitches first pickup. Um, I don't know, yeah, maybe it's just right Stitches. Now. He's just too fat. I don't know, can't get out of fights. By his team. But seriously, mm -hmm. huge deja vu there. <laughs> very, very funny. But yeah, we're going to see everyone head to their lanes now. Malfurion is in the bot lane against Noxout. Going to be heal and harass versus a bit of harass and damage here. We'll just see how that one works out. But might work out a bit quicker than we expected. If a uh, Val knocks out isn't careful here and gets picked up by Stitches and Ufa here. But uh, do keep in mind, last game he was so clever and always kept alive, dished out so much damage. Wow, that's a pretty big push coming in the mid lane. But the QT needed to go back and uh, use his mana well. Not enough. Uh, the hook was missed there by. Uh... Can I just. Uh, Morkin Lord, Merkin Lord, that's it. Yay! Oh, these German names. I'm gonna nah, have to it's, it's a little bit weird. Um, it, I don't know, it means carrot lol. <laughs> carrot lol. Oh, good hook! Good hook onto Rolik there. He is gonna try and bolt his way out. He's d used his evade and he is able to escape. In the bot lane, however, now Furian was picked off by Tazdingo and Shadowmare, and that is very, very good for free agents here getting the yeah game. just so much damage down there um now that they, they did have uh, arfis with the lockdown and then knocks out dishing it out and this is going to be a nice little push coming down the bot lane oh they but, go for the hook ooh. trap yeah they, nice they go setup. For the hook trap. T shadow man's right there they get it oh, oh God, good God, job Tess dingo will go down here and shadow man can't do a thing but a oh look at that trap here shadow man's just sitting there <laughs> they had no idea he was there hero they were within yeah, touching tribute. distance of each other, and neither of them could hit each other. Forever QT actually taking a lot of damage here from Kissa. Kissa is going to chase him down and push him back. Forever is going to have to go for Fountain before this tribute if they want to try and contest it. Very dangerous. Yeah, but Lurchin Long, a little bit on the edge there. But they have three heroes down there. They're in a good spot right now, and it doesn't look like uh, Free Agents really wants to go for this. They're thinking but about it, but Tyrion is yeah. currently heading back to the mid lane. Hook. Doesn't hit anyone in free agents. Actually, gonna try and grab it here, but there we are seeing uh, for great honor. Gonna try and deal oh, with it. Oh, that's, that's a DC from unfortunate Kisa. That's disconnect. Bad timing. And he's back. But here comes Falstead and Tyriel here. Both of them moving in to the tribute area. They almost grabbed it. Valor was just hooked there. Message is able to vault out of there though. Healing ward in a great place. Gonna heal up the rest of the team here. Root did go down. And they're trying to go for it again. Shadowbear is capping it in the back of these. Interrupted again. And oh, this fight is going for off. For is quite low as well. And now Kaiser Lucky Video. moving on to Individuum. And one more shot, but nope. He <laughs> dashes out. Stingo is really low in the back there. He does get picked off by Nebse. And that is very good for four great honor. The first no. kill going in this fight going down to get to them. A second kill though is going down to three agents. And this fight is once again a free versus free. Hook goes on to Kissa. He's going on to Forever QT. Forever QT is shielded up and is backing out. Kissa is having to back up as well though. He is very, very low. Shadow Bear and knocks out. Gonna push this back. Falstad flying to the mid lane just to soak some XP here. It looks like they're finally gonna give up this tribute. Yep, uh, this is gonna be Four free agents, first tribute for free agents, and the reason they had to back off here oh, was that Nepsa and uh, Stitches were both on uh, cooldown for the mana well. Otherwise, they could have gone back in there, but they were both on cooldown. And yeah, first tribute going to free agents. Yep, Faustad 
backing off there to the mid lane, thinking he could soak some XP to give his team a bit of an advantage because of that fight. Instead, ends up giving up his own life to the enemy team, giving them an XP advantage. Not the best move, very unlucky. And there comes the grab on the siege camp uh, by Kaiser and Shadowmare. Found friends. Anti-hero, anti Morkin Lord, and Nebze all go to Tazdigo. There's the tribute. Tazdigo pulled back in by Zidus. He's been body blocked. He does get picked off. That is one person down for the tribute spawn. That is very, very good for Four Great Honor. They will almost certainly get this tribute unless we can see some amazing denial skills here by the rest of free agents. But Valor, not even going to be there. She's going to be fighting Invidium down here. Yeah, this is a little bit troublesome here. Uh for free agents. I mean, they can't really uh, go for disrupts on the tribute. Uh, I mean, if you if you go for the disrupt with Tyrael, then you need your entire team there to defend him afterwards. And um, yeah, other than that, I mean, who, who are you going to send in? This is true. And if Tyrael isn't there, then what are they going to do? Like, they could, in theory, deny with Valor with the very long range pokes. Yeah, but she's but so squishy, really though. Risky. Yeah, it's really risky. Um, they did go for their bruiser camp. Hero in trouble. He's being burst down in the top lane. Venom is popped. He tries to kick his way out, but he does get burst down. It is not enough. Very good job there by free agents able to take him down. And both teams are level 10 now. Uh, almost even. A little bit of an edge as far as the team fights is concerned. Uh, four free agents. Oh, they might get a nice pickup. Merchant Law is in there. Uh, getting Zark so rooted down. Healed. Oh, there's the Ooh. stun. He is wow. out. He's going to try and pull someone in. Gets off. Is going to gorge him. Can he get to the inside the gate in time? Yes, he can. Oh, that wow. That was so clutch. So His team's going to try and kill the gate. Kissa coming in as well. They're all going in. They're now just trying to keep him alive. And they're just going for the full dive in. But Kissa is now also dropping low. He's going to give his life for this. And this was a horrible decision there by free agents. Illidan's going to be able to get out. Tastingo being dropped so low. He does go down anyway. If they could get Illidan as well. This is a perfect situation for Four Great Honor. Illidan being dropped very low. Shield does pop. And can Forever QT get the chase? He oh does. yes! That's the team and they got kill. Valor That's at the bot 5 lane. for 2. They got Shh. Valor at the bot lane with Chen and Invidium. That was ideal for Four Great Honor. Incredible engagement. Incredible fight. Very poor decision making by free agents. Getting hooked, getting caught in, and this team for here's a good idea. Let's join him in the place we have little <laughs> escape from and use all our escapes to get in there. Yeah, and now they have a strong push on the top lane. Uh, Shadowmere should be able to stop this just before the fort goes down, but they did a lot of damage on the bot lane as well, and now have the time to deal with their own boss, um, go for the bruiser camp afterwards, and maybe get in a good position for the next tribute that's just now spawning. And this is a big one. They already have two tributes, so the next one could trigger the curse now. Yep, they, they're they going to have to give up their bruiser camp here. Are they going to give up the boss? They're going to give up the boss? Wow, it was halfway the down. They want to contest this tribute. They really want it. Kisa is already almost there. They need to interrupt him. They do get it with Holy Radiance. And now the fight does begin. There's the four-man stun. Valor is in the back there. They need to interrupt her. She's been pulled in. That is a great interrupt. In comes the ancestral healing onto Kisa here. He's been shrunk great though in the back. He will go down. He's pretty much on his own. Rollick comes in to try and help him. And Kisa actually gets out of there. Valor being gone very low with Fai Chen. But she is able to escape. Currently, no devs, but it looks like Stitches is going to be the first dev. And Free Agents picks that up. And they are now going to pick up the tribute. Oh, Anti Hero wanted to take down Valor, but uh, had to go behind the wall. And the now Rega also falling. Yep, Silence came out from Invidium there. It is enough to force the rest of Free Agents back. It is currently four versus three in this area. And they didn't get a tribute. What happened there? Yeah, I mean, uh, they had to back off now. Rhaegar's they... dead. What happened? <laughs> Rhaegar was grabbing the tribute. Something killed him while I was while we weren't looking. And that is the curse for Four Great Honor. And now they're going to continue this fight here. Going on to Kissa. There is the root, but Faust... Uh, sorry. Uh, Malfurion is still there. Going to be able to take him down. And they do get a kill. And now they can move straight onto their golem. Yeah, and same thing should be happening here on the side of free agents, but nope, uh, looks like they want to defend and keep their top four, and I don't know if Rega can get there in time. It's also quite low already. Uh, looks like yeah, he can. He's got it. It's gonna get low, but he is gonna get it. The bottom fort though, not gonna fare so well once this golem's there. 
Yeah, the curse is still up for 20 more seconds, so they're gonna push this down. And have Stitches and Uther going for the giant, uh, for the Bruiser camp here at the same time. So um, that's a nice little split push coming in here for for Honor. And just Shen and the boss taking bot lane. But I think it's gonna be enough. I mean, with the curse still up for 5 seconds. Ooh, knocks out. Oh, I love Antihero's Chen. It's so aggressive. He's gonna be able to get out of there as well. Did pop his ult. I think that might have been a bit too much overkill popping the ult. But now Nvidia's here. Once he's out of that ult, he's still gonna have a lot of aggro damage left here. And that fort is 100% going down now. They weren't able to get mid fort. But top fort, there are now giants there. That will go down. And that will be two forts for basically nothing in favor of for great honor really really good situation they're in and there's knights pushing the mid lane there's a chance they could immediately rotate there and take the mid fort once they have pushed with this golem a bit to yeah, get it a bit I, more i think they just want to push it in a little bit more and yeah. uh once that golem has done some decent damage um maybe rotate up yep there it is there Going is the, rotate. For the Golem's rotation down now so this actually is going to be a bit of a risky move they might try to fight here instead they're actually going to go for it. The knights are there, so they will tank the, the uh, four for them. And as we can see, free agents not wanting to fight here. They know it's too risky. There are two level disadvantage. 16 talents are available. There's the hookers of the giant. They don't want to kill that. That's going to take a long time to get back there. <laughs> there it is. So they will finally kill that off and be able to take that easy camp for, the, for them. And that will slightly de-push bot lane for them. But that is all three forts. Gone down for free eight. It's very, very well played here yeah. by Four Great Honor. And that's a now massive experience boost for their side. Uh, two level advantage already, and now they're gonna go for the steal on the boss. Oh, oh here comes, but we're gonna see a fight. Free they agents moving in. They wanna go for the steal. Anti hero is stunned here. Tastingo. Uh, Anti hero is now rooted by uh, Malfury, and Tastingo mm -hmm. is gonna go down thanks to Anti hero though. There's the ancestral healing onto Rhaegar though, and Rhaegar, they're just ignoring him, they're letting him go, there's the root, there's the wow. root, there's the double root, in fact, he does go down, a perfect five-man wipe there, 4-4 four, four grade honor, they get the golem, they will push with this now, and uh, they have a chance of ending, but I think they will likely just get the keep and go. Yeah, I mean, the cooldown timers are still decent, 10 seconds, 15 seconds. Um, I think this is not going to be enough, but they're going to go for uh, going to go for the keep straight away. And they have a three level advantage soon, so that's just a massive advantage. They're going to play this down and uh, just deny the tributes for free agents uh, in the future. Here they come! Down goes the there we go. Down goes the keep, and they're thinking about it. They're still around in this area, but no, there we go. Beginning to mount up, fast that flying away, and they're just going to grab this tribute straight away. Oh, Stitch is waiting for a hook. He's 16. Does he, did he take fishing hook? He did not. Uh, let's check. He did not. Nope. Going for slam build. Very, very nice. I prefer this here, considering that uh, free agents does have a valor with strafe. Taking the mini stun is huge. Interrupting that strafe is fantastic in a team fight, and the mini stun allows you to do it so easily. There's oh, the. Oh, there comes the hook. Got to get out of there. Nope. Just stun locked all the way. Could not get out of there. And with. Material gone. I think they could be going for the next keep straight away. That's a 30 second cool. Uh, that's a 30 seconds. Uh, Tyrion is out of that fight. Ooh, hook barely missing Shadow Mare. This is why Stitches is getting gonna be starting to gonna start to be being banned more often now that Faust, now that uh, Tassadar has been nerfed a bit. Stitches is gonna get very high up there. There's a Divine Storm getting two and like set straight. The, the shock and awe getting two heroes. Valor and Rega going down. And yep, that's Arthas going down as well. This is gonna be keep, and this should be game here. Four great honor going straight for the core. I think so. Tyrion is coming up in one second. Illidan gets hooked here, but he's gonna have to pop his ult just to survive. He needs to go in there. There's judgment onto Faustad, who doesn't appear to care. Thanks to the healing from Ufa. And he is they're gonna burst out Illidan. In comes Tyrion. Illidan, sorry, to try and get that damage down. But Illidan's gonna be killed off. Forever QT does go down though. That is a person lost. They're all quite low health here, but they can still go in once those minions are tanking for them. They're going to go into the core. Valor and Rhaegar are now alive. Could we see the biggest throw in history? Wow, that, that would be incredible, but with two uh, with two supports, it should be possible. Up. Wow! They stay, they stay too long. Arthas is now up as well. It's three versus three, and the entirety of free agents all have full health, and they're going to get stitches. No, he gets healed. Ufa oh, giving his life to keep him alive. Yeah. Oh, they're going back really in. Really nice sacrifice. Oh my god, Valor just got decimated. And now they're going in onto Rhaegar. 
Reiko does ancestral healing. That's really bad for them, in fact. He's now pretty much full health, but Chen's just so tanky. Invidium's so low, he does heal himself. Chen is just going in on this Sonus down at the roof. Wow, what a hook here on Shadow Mirror. But I think they're going to drop uh, Stitches beforehand. No, he does survive, and Shadow Mirror survives. And now it's Anti-Hero versus Taz Dingo here. In comes Invidium. Once again, Invidium needs to get out of there. Needs to get out of there. Anti-Hero will manage to escape himself. Invidium being dropped very low, and they do escape. But uh, like we said, the extending was too much, and Rhaegar did die anyway. And now Kissa is also going to go down. He went too deep. And now oh, Individuum, Individuum, he's ready. <laughs> wow, he knew the that suicide. he couldn't get away. The suicide, oh. I like it. Wow, but talking about a throw. Had on stitches. <laughs> talking about a throw, this is all... Um, yeah, this is still a possibility here. I mean... Um, they're, they're down two off. heroes right now, but let's see what they're doing. I think they're going to just recuperate the losses and uh, try to rally again, uh, rally for the entire team and get the boss one more time. Yep, that is what they're doing. They have the level 20 talents. We have Bolt on Falstad and Malfurion for the escape, Divine Hurricane on Ufa, and the Double Resurgence on Chen and Stitches. So they're going to be able to get back into this, get this push down and push even harder than before when they have everyone up. They are still level 20. The enemy team, still 18. They're not going to have much of a chance. Yeah, only one Watch keep left alive. Oh, wow. <laughs> so you have to stay back. You have to defend those catapults. And now with the boss coming in and possibly the third the tribute, tribute gap so for Great Honor. We're so lucky. <laughs> yeah, they got incredibly lucky. But they're also two levels ahead. So, um, I mean... That's that's a pretty massive advantage. Serial's got to do it. Throw the sword. There we go. Elderman's might does deny. It. They try and throw it again. Oh, oh, just come in here. It uses judgment onto Faust, and there's the strafe. Strafe not actually being interrupted this time because this is being pushed to the back there. Oh, but like, divine hurricane! That divine hurricane really helped out quite a bit though. But Nepsa, he's quite low. Tyrael goes down. And I think uh, Nepsa can get back into the fight now. Stitches was taken out though. QT being dropped quite low. He does have a shield on him. Rolik tries to get him, but gets picked off by Chen there. And Taz did go. Only one left alive. Accepts his fate in the bush. And then not even going to get the curse here. I don't know why. I guess they're going to leave it for Stitches. Yep, they're going to yep. leave it for Stitches. Get this keep. And then they will go for the win. In fact, they'll probably just dive the fort and let the golem kill the keep on its own. Yeah, they're thinking about it. Yeah, they well, go. I mean, they're all quite low, uh, except anti-hero and individual. So, since they do have that mana, they can heal everyone back up. And Stitches just, just took the curse, so this is going to be game right here. And, yeah, that's for great honor. Moving into the finals of the last Community Cup here. Community Cup number 16. Before the, we saw the Community Cups on Wednesday. And it was uh, just oh, okay. Sundays. I'm not sure. Is that so? I will double check that. Uh, I'm do check that. Anymore. And Valor will now remain stunned forever because the game ended. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, very well played there by Four Great Honor. Commiserations to three agents. He put up a fight in the early game, but Four Great Honor, incredible team play. Definitely a team I want to keep an eye on in the future. In really nice play.